what are you doing here? Welcome back to yet another episode of... Welcome... Welcome back to yet another episode of whenever I... Whenever I speak, my dog squeaks his, uh, her... Uh, toy. And that's the end of the show. Bye, everybody. Zach, what's the Google Translate? Uh, Google Translate is a show where I run the recipes of a mac and cheese box, for example, through Google Translate. Uh, that's the original recipe. Basically what I do is I smack it onto Google Translate, then I smack it through a bunch of different languages until it becomes just this tangled mess of weird English. Let's start. Step one. 10 minutes to the feet of the Lord. Oh good, we're gonna pray before we make our meal. Lord, I present to you uh, this 10 minute video and I'm laying it down at your feet, amen. Next step. Spoon until bringing her to the six cups of water to the abdomen. First of all, it's the wrong pronoun. Uh, and second of all, what? Do you want me to speed run this or something? I guess I have to. All right, I got my six cups of water. Spoon until bringing her to the six cups of water to the abdomen. Spoon lived a lonely life. He lived in a cabin made of air all of his life, but one day, the day that his life changed. Spoon until bringing her to the six cups of water to the abdomen. In theaters now. Scholars, take a note that the macaroni and cheese is under the abdomen so that uh, when I pour water onto the abdomen, it, the mac and cheese will get soaked. See you in a couple years. I think I, I don't think I was meant to use the spoon. Uh, because it's taking way too long, so I'm just gonna pour all of it onto it onto me at once. Yes, I duplicated myself. Future Zach here. If you're wondering what the context for this is, I uh, dressed up as my favorite superhero, Man, 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 for Halloween. Hey Google, when are we gonna get to the cooking? Because this isn't doing anything. The next step is about eight minutes. We we're supposed to do that in eight minutes. I mean, that's probably the amount of time it would have taken if I just used a spoon. I was too impatient. Uh, so it took only about like 30 seconds. Step three, no. What is, did you guys hear that? Something's happening down there. Look at that. Well, I guess we know who's getting a new rug tomorrow. Fun fact, 10% of the water used in this video will be donated to uh, thirsty kids in Africa. Listen, buddy, I've got uh, better things to do than watch water drip onto a carpet. So if you don't stop within the next 30 seconds, I'm gonna have to remove you from the show. Are you mocking me? I'm gonna have to ban you from the show. Jeez, how much water did I pour? Well, that's it. I'm gonna ban you from the show. Yeah! Banned! Alright, now that the abdomen and the rest of the body is completely soaked, now what, Dr. Translate? That's how wet the paper is. Uh, I think I just uh, hit something on the phone. Hold on. 
Alright, the next step. Received undergraduate business face in the sink. Yeah, what about him? Next step. If it rains, three or four tablespoons of milk. Well, it was raining in the cabinets earlier, as you could tell by the soaked carpet. Uh, so, I guess that counts as rain. Uh, three or four tablespoons of milk on the box. This measuring thing only goes to four tablespoons, so I'll just pour some stuff in, some of it in there. Back to the main area as soon as this milk hits the ground. Wow, that's cool. I didn't know I could train you. So, I didn't say to put the milk in the bowl, so I'm just going to pour the milk on top of the uh, box in the sink. Since you've been super helpful, we have, we, we're not even supposed to take it out of the box. For the sake of not wanting to clean up, I'm just going to put the soaked mac and cheese box into the bowl. Notice how none of the macaroni is uh, wet. What's the next step? Uh, one teaspoon of fish sauce and two tablespoons. Whatever you say, Google. Uh, Here's one tablespoon, and here's one teaspoon. So I need fish sauce, huh? I don't know about you, but uh, we use tartar sauce on our fish. I'll cut to me finding the fish sauce right now. This isn't the only stuff we have, but it's the only thing I could find. A tablespoon, no. A teaspoon and two tablespoons. One teaspoon right there. In the comments, uh, before you watch the rest of this video, pause it and see, uh, see, guess if you can get two, ta if I can get two tablespoons out of this. If you guess the right, correct answer, which is yes, I'll give you, uh, half a cent. Since we can't, since we don't have any more, uh, I'll just put in a tablespoon and a teaspoon. There's one tablespoon of fish sauce, and there's one teaspoon of fish sauce. The next step is press, press, and reduce milk. The trick is to clean up before you make a mess again. Press, press, and reduce milk. Gone, reduced to atoms. And the last step, pour hot water into the pot and let it cool off. Uh, okay. I assume you mean, uh, this bowl. I think that's good. Oh, it smells like tartar. It doesn't say what to do after that, so I guess we'll try it. Here, let me stir it up real quick. Here, what is this? It's all like crunchy and stuff. Like it's hard to get off the bottom of the bowl. Okay, let's try some. Yes, I use a fork to eat macaroni and cheese. I think I chipped the tooth. Uh, yeah, that's it for Google Translate. If you want to see more videos, uh, click on the playlist. I made a playlist on my channel. If you go, uh, if you click on my channel and go to playlists, uh, you can see my other Google Translate video. Like and subscribe for a 100% chance of the like and subscribe count going up by one.